we'd have to do a little topic on uh, know your why. Um, I'm just going to keep it real short and simple for you guys. Um, I'm just going to break it down into why, how, um, and what. The first bit I've got is why. Why to have a why. Um, obviously, it's really important to have a why. Um, it's important to have one that's personal to yourself as well. Um, a lot of people, when they first start, they try and focus on other people's whys, but eventually that's not going to be enough to motivate you. You need to have a why for yourself, so that when you're going through the thick and the thin, that's what's going to get you through the other side. Because if you're concentrating on someone else's, like your leader's why or your owner's why, yeah, that might be good for them and it might motivate you for a little bit, but it's not actually going to motivate you in the long run. So if you've got a, if you've got a really good why uh, that you can focus on that's strong, that's going to be brilliant. Uh, also, if you have a why, um, it makes it really easy for you to set smart goals. Um, we all know that your goals have got to be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, time related. Um, so if you've got a why, uh, then it makes it easier to work towards. It makes it easier to set them smart goals because you've got an end product that you're working towards. Whereas if you've got nothing you're working towards, then it can't really be specific, it can't be measurable. Whereas if you've got something that you want to achieve, then obviously you can make them goals really smart. Finally, um, one of the other part, important reasons to have a why is obviously because um, we, do, we do work in a fast-paced environment, we do work hard. Um, but inevitably there's going to be days where you struggle, there's going to be days that are really hard, it's going to be cold, it's going to be wet, people are going to be telling you no. But if you've got a strong why, then none of that's going to matter. None of that's not going to matter because you can just focus on that end goal. And we all know that we work on like weekly basis, monthly basis, so that one day will not matter. And obviously when you've got that why in your head, anything to go through is how, how, how to have a why. Um, again, this, link, this, this all links together anyway, but I think it's important to split your why down as well. You don't have to just have one big why. Um, I think it's important if you break it down into your goals, your short-term, mid-term and long-term, that way you can have a short-term, mid-term and long-term why. Because um, what motivates me, my big why for the future, uh, let's say one of my whys is I want to pay off my mum and dad's mortgage, I want to buy my dad an Aston Martin, well that's not going to happen tomorrow. So that's a long-term why. But then I can have a short-term why, which in the next few weeks I'm going to be going Tenerife, that's a short-term why. So if you break it down into them short-term, mid-term and long-terms, then your whys will motivate you a lot better because, again, they can be a much more achievable. So I think you can have multiple whys and uh, that'll help bring you. Finally, obviously, what what is your why? Um, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory to be honest, but it's important that you sit down and you do have a think about it because it can be anything. It doesn't have to just be something that you want to achieve in the business. It can be something outside the business as well. It can, like I say, you can have multiple whys, so it can be a number of things. Um, but if you sit down and have a long think about it, it can be to do with money, uh, opportunity, uh, maybe you just want the opportunity to run your own business. Uh, maybe you just want to make uh, some new friends. Uh, it can be anything. Uh, so I think it's really important that you know we're all different. So have fun trying to find yours. And that's me all done. Um, I hope these tips helped and best of luck on your COD journey.